So hey everyone, I was at a hearing in federal court earlier today here in San Francisco hearing the case about a judge who should not be able to hear cases involving Italians because he's Italian or or maybe it's because he's Roman Catholic I I don't remember or maybe what I heard was a hearing involving a white straight judge who shouldn't hear cases involving white straight people or maybe a wise Latina who because of her race or her gender shouldn't hear cases involving gender discrimination or race discrimination now these are all Supreme Court justices Sonia Sotomayor Chief Justice John Roberts Antonin Scalia we know they have life experience we know they have biases but we would never suggest that they can't sit on cases that involve who they are as people because they take an oath as judges like every judge does that regardless of their biases they will be able to be fair and impartial now the case this morning involved this judge now retired formal former federal district judge Vaughn Walker the judge in the Prop 8 trial who issued a masterwork ruling striking down Prop 8 and is now having that ruling challenged because he is gay and in a relationship with another man so the proponents of Prop 8 are saying therefore it's not our bad lawyering it's not the fact that we didn't present a cogent defense of Prop 8 because Prop 8 can't be defended under constitutional principles the reason we lost is because the judge is gay and involved with another man well that has no more merit than to suggest that these folks shouldn't be judges either there is nothing in Walker's history or in the ruling on Prop 8 or in the way he conducted the trial that indicates he was anything other than fair, impartial, and objective. No matter who he is as a person, he took an oath, and everything in his decades-long history indicates that he has fidelity to that oath, oath, that he upheld that oath in every case, and he certainly did so in the Prop 8 case. I believe and hope that the ruling will be that the case should not be vacated, that Walker did in fact uphold his oath and that his ruling stands. That is the right ruling and it's the ruling that does justice best not just to Walker but to any judge.